So we are back in the kitchen with St. Elmo Steakhouse, Tyler Gillespie. Who we're talking about he a, is the man. Oh we have God. established that. He is, he is the, the man. man. In some circles. A yeah. cocktail, <laughs> and this is a cocktail so easy that anybody can make it, man, because oh, yeah. all you got to do is pour it. Yeah, that's it's ready easy. to pour. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. not too bad. And this is an old fashioned. Me and George, yeah. are, we, we, we like those. Yeah. <laughs> and, and in particular, we like the old fashioned that has bourbon in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's not just, Wisconsin. No, yeah. it's yes. not a Wisconsin right. old fashioned. An actual old fashioned with bourbon in it. That's yeah. right. That's right. What made you guys say this is the time to make this ready to pour old fashioned? Yeah. So if you guys have been to St. Elmo and had the Pops Old Fashioned, which mm -hmm. is the old fashioned that we use in the restaurant, um, it's our second highest selling cocktail, uh, second only to the Elmo Cola, right? Okay. So it's a classic bourbon cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, bourbon is in its renaissance right now. You know, it's one of the most um, celebrated spirits that are out there so um, the old-fashioned you can get them a lot of places but if they're done well they're gonna be strong they're gonna mm -hmm. have a nice citrus to it a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. and a little bit of bitters um, and what we've done here today is really try to recreate that experience that you get in St. Elmo Steakhouse mm -hmm. um, and recreate it in a bottle okay. so we wanted something that was so easy that you could pour it at home or on live TV all right yeah. well, well let's let's get into it yeah. man let's do this for thing. sure man for sure Somebody's calling. They want an old fashioned. They do. Yours. They absolutely. <laughs> Come with the available and retail every time we open them. the bar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So ready to pour. So I'm going to do it, and then I think you should do it. I, I Does that sound good? I think that sounds All right. wonderful. All right. So what you're going to do is this is very important. This you're going to pour it right over ice. Okay. Okay. Right All right. Ice. Okay. Well, then we're going to garnish it with a Luxardo cherry. Okay. Because it's fancy, and we like that. We like fancy. And then, if we really want to kick it up a notch, we're going to do an orange peel. The classic. Can't have classic, it without the orange peel. Right. Give it a little a bit little of twist. mist, spritz, mm -hmm. if you will, right on top. All right. Now, I will say, okay. that's sitting on the ice there. This is 100 proof. Ooh. Yes. Okay. 100 proof. So, if it sits on the ice for just a couple seconds, just let it kind of marinate that's and it's fine. there a little bit. Yeah, it's going to dilute it a little bit, but you're still going to get that strong, nice bourbon flavor. So, okay. while that's sitting, you want to go ahead and uh, pour a another one? Absolutely. Yeah. For my friend George Mallet. Well, yeah. Can you do all that stuff with the orange slice, though? Oh. That's my question. Expert. I mean, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Alrighty, and then oh yeah, the peel. Yeah. That's this this part. Is... Oh, I got faith in you, man. You do? Yeah. I don't have as much faith yeah. in myself. <laughs> Here we go. Like a pro. Ooh, like that a looks, pro. That looks good. Yeah. yeah. Here, give it a little twist. Hold on. I, I saw your technique. Nice. I saw your technique. Nice. Uh huh. Nice. Ah, learn so quickly. Uh huh. There we go. Fancy Luxardo cherry. And then for you, George Mallet. All right. Hey. Somebody yes. hand me that cocktail. Yeah. Oh, you just made an old fashioned. Look at that. Look at that. Ready to pour, Mr. Mallet Magic. Thank you. For you, sir. Oh, thank yeah. you, sir. 